So what you're seeing here are differences of block one compared to block two. This is the most important difference. This is a block one fuel tank. So on the top, you have the methane. On the bottom, you have the liquid oxygen. This is what block two looks like. The tanks, the internal tanks, as you can see here, are way bigger compared to the block one ships that we've seen fly so far. This results, of course, in the payload bay being smaller on the block two ships, but it also gives Starship something that it is kind of missing right now, range. It is able to get a lot of payload up to space, but it's not very versatile when it comes to height because it runs out of fuel pretty quick. And what SpaceX is trying is to give it a little bit more range. You don't need that big of a payload fairing in the beginning anyway, because they want to deploy Starlink satellites and the Pez dispenser isn't that big. So it'll fit nicely, but it'll give it a lot more range after a stage separation. So that's why SpaceX is doing this. And the picture you saw all the way in the beginning is a change in the domes that separate the tanks. That was something they had developed for a long time. There are two reasons for that, actually. You'll see these fine lines in there. Those are weld lines. It is a lot of work to manufacture the thing. You see the weld lines here, you see them here, you see them segmented down here. It works, but the way better version is the E-dome, which is comprised of way less segments. And you can see that it is less pointy, meaning it gives SpaceX more space in the payload bay. And you can see these are bulky up top. That makes a huge difference because on the version two, this is a shallower arc, giving SpaceX more room inside the payload bay. So that is the biggest construction difference on the Block 2 ships, but that's not where it ends either. The heat shield is massively updated on Block 2. You see the entire shape is different. The cutoff on the Block 2 is here and the Block 1, it goes all the way up to the top. It has a completely different shape because of the flaps. They are different on Block 2. They have a different angle, but you can see that the height of the Block 2 shield starts way up higher than on the Block 1. And as you can see here, this is the aft flap, the flap that is down. On Block 1, the forward flaps had the same alignment plane as the aft flaps. On Block 2, they're angled. The biggest problem they had with the heat shield on every other Block 1 Starship launch is that the flaps had a miserable time. They got half ripped apart. They were directly in the plasma flow on re-entry. These are the forward flaps here, these thingies here on the side. And with Block 2, they're trying to mitigate that by moving them outside of the plasma flow. So that's how the rocket enters. And this is where the heat shield is. And so the plasma flow goes on the side. So they're largely removed from the plasma flow, which should make them survive better. And it's a really good example for why SpaceX does all this testing.